What's up my friends? Welcome to another video. I'm Rob Stewart and I'm here to help you get your skin and your overall health back on track. In today's video, I'm going to be covering the basics of exfoliation and moisturization. Now this is a key skincare routine for those of you who are suffering from skin disease and who are trying to use natural holistic methods to heal yourself. <laughs> In today's video, I'm gonna be doing three things. I'm gonna be giving you guys the three easiest, safest, and best ways to safely exfoliate. I'm gonna give you guys my favorite three options to moisturize. I'm also gonna share with you guys how to put the whole thing together to make a customized little basic routine for you. Exfoliation, moisturization, beautiful skin. Here we go. So first things first, let's talk about exfoliation first. You've gotta be gentle with your exfoliation, but exfoliation has to be done. When you remove the old dead cells, the old fungus and bacteria and all the crap that's building up on your skin, you give new skin cells a chance to breathe, open up and come to the surface. Also, the buildup of old skin causes major infections and major problems. All of that dandruff, all of that flaky skin you see piling up on your pillow and piling up everywhere when you have psoriasis or eczema is due to the fact that the skin's turning over so much and it's not exfoliated properly and it's not moisturized. So make sure you're finding your rhythm with exfoliation. You don't wanna do it too much. If you're doing it too much, your skin will be irritated. It'll be a little bit raw. Also, these techniques for exfoliation should be done very gently over places on your body that are having big, flare-ups. You got to be super gentle sometimes. You got to back off. Let's start off with dry brushing. Dry brushing is the most basic and simple form of exfoliation. It's also great for moving the lymphatic system. After a while, the crazy thing about dry brushing is, is it takes the body and moves the lymphatic system so much and exfoliates so well that it starts to allow the body to breed and build its natural oils again. So dry brushing can be done daily. It's ultra, ultra safe for all skin types. If you have some flared up areas, be very gentle. Make sure you have a soft, soft brush. This one is from Eco Tools, which you can find online. I think it's a boar bristle brush or it's a synthetic brush. It's very soft. If you have a huge flare up though, you can wrap a cotton towel around the outside of this and it'll make it even extra soft for those sensitive areas. Moving on. Now this is my favorite, and I still use it to this very day as my skincare routine, this Dead Sea Warehouse Sea Salt Scrub. This stuff is absolutely amazing. With my skin type, when I had eczema and now, I can get away with doing this every single day gently. Um, sometimes I only do it like three times a week, sometimes five times a week, but I can do this daily as long as I'm gentle. For most of you, three to four times a week using this product will be all that you need. The best way to use it is to do it in the shower um, after you have already gone through a moisturization period before the shower, done the moisturization um, technique that I'm gonna talk about in a minute in the shower, then you do this and then you moisturize after. It works amazingly, it's straight butter skin. I'll get into the full routine at the end of the video, so stay tuned. Number three for exfoliation is this little glove by Dermasuri. Dermasuri. This is quality. Don't buy crap gloves. Go the extra mile and spend the extra $4.86 to get high quality. This thing, um, what makes it high quality is the material it's used. It's, you can't really make this thing get fungi bacteria buildup on it. It's, it's ultra high tech. It's soft, but exfoliates like crazy. This thing can F you up. You gotta be super careful with it. For me, I like to use this in my beard and on my scalp, because it would get in there deep and really move stuff. If you go too hard with this, and if you go too often with this, it will tear you up. Do not use exfoliating devices to scratch and irritate your skin when you're having a flare up. That's the wrong way to do it. It'll really mess things up. This can be used for most of you sufferers. About to be gentle once a week for most, sometimes two times a week if you're super gentle, but you gotta be serious with this. If I was really sensitive with my skin, I might use it once every nine days or some revolving schedule like that. 
So that covers my favorite ways to exfoliate. You're also gonna get some basic exfoliation just by living life. Going to the beach, getting some sand on you, going in some salty water, working out, sweating, taking on and off clothes. There's some basic stuff that happens when you just are healthy and you move your body. So make sure you're moving your body too, paying attention to your lymph, but that's it for the exfoliators. Now, moisturization is something that people are very confused about. For some reason, there's all these beliefs around them. I should do this, I'm not allowed to do this, I can't reapply 500 times a day. Break all the rules. Rule number one is break all the rules and you have to experiment and see what works for you. You might be a person that has to reapply your oil every three hours during your healing process. That just might be part of your life. And if you're having a huge flare up, you might have to put oils back on every hour and a half. I've done it. You gotta do what's needed. Sometimes you gotta get really serious and, and break the rules. But rule number two is there are some basic guidelines to follow. Number one, finding the right oil for you. My three favorite are coconut oil, jojoba oil, and good old fashioned olive oil. With all of them, you wanna make sure you're getting quality products. Quality is key when you're putting these things on your body to help clear your skin. Now, coconut oil for me is my number one. Why? Because it's antimicrobial, it's antibacterial. Um, it's awesome stuff. This will not work for everyone. For some people, because of the shape of their skin, this will turn you red, this will irritate you, this will burn. If burning sensations, irritation happens with anything you try, ditch it. I'd start with these three, and then I would move on to other oils or things like cocoa butter. Um, lotions, um, really strong fragrances, most of the time are really just gonna mess you up. And if you're using an over-the-counter lotion, or if your, your oils have fragrances in them, they won't allow your skin to moisturize and they won't allow your skin to heal. Now, before I get further into moisturization, one of the keys to moisturization is having enough water in your diet, but it's also having enough fat-soluble vitamins in your, in your um, diet and enough omegas in your diet. So make sure you're getting in plenty of healthy fats and hydrating like crazy. Well, let's talk about a little bit about how to put this whole thing together and how much is it actually okay to moisturize. Now, as I said before, during my healing crisis and during the time when I was finally transforming my health and curing my skin disease, I was very straightforward. I said, I don't give a shit. I am putting on oil every time my skin looks dry or feels dry, and I did. And that worked great for me. And it can be that simple for you. But here's a little technique that you can use along with these exfoliating techniques um, to really get the job done. Before I go any further though, never put oil on or dry brush while you're wet. That's why it's called dry brushing. You have to be completely dry to dry brush. So keep that in mind. When we're talking about moisturization, we're talking about something else completely. The best method is to, on your dry body, apply the oils as much as needed. Then, when you get into your shower for the day or you take your bath for the day, once you're wet, reapply oil everywhere head to toe, including the areas that are the worst. The heat mixed with the oil will really drive it deep into the dermis. Then, once you've kind of rubbed that on your body and given it a few minutes to really seep in, then go about your cleaning process using some very gentle, hypoallergenic, fragrance-free soaps. Soap up your body. Do your thing. Use this cleanser. Once a week or so, use this. Once you've cleansed your body in the shower, before you get out of the shower, grab the oil that works best for you and reapply it over your entire body. Turn the water off, shake yourself dry, and then let yourself drip dry or pat yourself dry for about five to 10 minutes, letting those oils seep fully in. And that's it. If you just apply it before, during, and after the shower, it will go deep into your dermis and it will work as kind of a heat seeking tourniquet thing. I learned this from Ayurveda. I practiced this a ton in my yoga therapy days and it works just straight up awesome. Remember, once you have gone through your shower process and gone to your moisturization process, if your skin becomes dry again, simply reapply. 
I can't tell you how much success I had just keeping coconut oil on me at all times. And every time some flakes popped out of my beard, okay, take my little dry brush, get rid of those flakes, get my coconut oil, get that deep in there and super moisturize the whole thing. Every time you exfoliate, moisturize, period. That's the answer, that's the key. But that's gonna do it for me today, guys. A simple, simple method for keeping your body exfoliated and keeping your body moisturized in a safe, healthy way that will keep you getting those gains towards clear, healthy skin. If you have any questions, leave them down below. If you'd like to subscribe to this channel, well, I invite you to, but if you don't want to, then fine. For those of you looking to get a hold of me to become one of my skin health clients, um, there's a link in the description box for a consultation. You can also head over to holistichealthactivation.com. There you'll find all of the skin health offerings, skin health offerings, including the three phase workbook, Instagram. There I'm Stuart, Rob Stewart. In real life, I'm just Rob Stewart. And I'll be back with a lot of videos next week and in the future. Much love. Peace.